Hi and welcome. Uh, I'm here at the uh, National Folk Festival in Canberra and I'm here with uh, John and uh, Melanie Dorian from uh, Rocky Creek Strings. And they're here with their wonderful array of uh, handcrafted uh, musical instruments. Perhaps uh, you, Melanie, perhaps give us a bit of a, a background to Rocky Creek Strings. And well, it's an interesting story. Uh, John's had 30 years' experience as a cabinet maker, and our son Andrew is a luthier. Uh, and he's been involved in sound engineering and audio and guitars for a long time. And recently they decided that they would work well together. Uh, with John's cabinet making experience and Andrew's design technology and, and sound engineering background and of course the luthier skills. So um, that was how Rocky Creek Strings was born. Um, Andrew had, was making instruments and John was really interested in doing the same. So they worked together and came up with a design that had all the technology of the design, the luthier design, the sound technology and where John could use his, his cabinet making skills. and. This is what we've come up with. Thanks, Melanie. So, John, perhaps you can tell us a about the range of instruments that you have. Uh... Oh, <laughs> it's probably about 20 different instruments that we make. Um, you know, we make a lot of ukuleles, you know, ban banjo ukuleles. We make a lot of ordinary ukuleles, you know, normal ones. Um, we also make travel banjos, travel guitars, mountain banjos, all sorts of, you know, different instruments that we'll try anything basically as long as it's got strings and it's made of timber we'll do it. Yeah. And the, the timbers are all Australian timbers? Um, mostly we uh, we have we do use western red and we occasionally use uh, imported spruce and, and things like that but normally it'll be all Australian timbers. Okay. So. Well, that's fantastic. Don't we? We might, might just get you to just show us one of the instruments and uh, we can have a closer look at it. Well this is our, our, our latest little model that we've only really started making this year and it's a pineapple shape. This one has Australian red cedar on the face and on the back and it's silky oak right the way around and a plantation rosewood neck. And basically this is, uh, we, we designed this up late last year, we, we started making them early this year and you know we've so far made 20 of them and we've only got about six left. We've had a lot of interest in fact we're really excited because we're going to be custom building uh, one of these especially for a lady who ordered it yesterday and it's in the baritone which is a larger size, same shape but with a double C string which is quite unusual but it suits her style of playing. So we're finding we love getting the custom orders because they're always interesting and you never quite know how it's going to sound for them and we, we really enjoy that people are so involved and able to get an Australian made instrument custom built for their needs and that's a real, I think that could be a growing market for us in the future. Um, still at a realistic price. At a very realistic price compared to the imported models. Um, but I think that's really part of our niche, that we're, we're developing something that's a bit different. Uh, it has a different quality tone to what you could buy commercially um, and it can be custom built and modified and of course it comes with a guarantee, uh, which is people find very helpful. So Melanie's uh, holding one of your eight string uh, banjo ukuleles, perhaps you yeah. could just walk us through uh, this instrument. Well, this is a, a, an interesting instrument that I've, I always wanted to make one and um, we made the baritones before but we only ever did four string. But this one is uh, a particularly interesting instrument because it's eight string um, and it's basically it has a, my, what I call my harlequin design around the side. It has silky oak, plantation rosewood and the face is chocolate cedar from Canada and the hard points which are the bridge and the, and the heel are Sydney blue gum. Now, we found that we've been selling a few of these to bands that, you know, all over Australia that uh, want something different and have a different sound. And I suppose a few of them said to me that it looks like a banjo, but it actually sounds like a 12-string guitar, but it's really a ukulele. Mm. So it's, it's a it's funny like sort of instrument. a hybrid instrument. Mm. Yeah, but it, look, they, they sound fantastic, especially when amplified. And we normally sell these with a pickup installed, but this one doesn't have one. And the back is rosewood again, and the neck is rosewood. 
So it's it's a lovely a lovely thing, and I I mean I enjoy making them, and I enjoy hearing people who can play play them. Mm. There's an interesting for people who want to hear how this sounds. Uh, the Australian duo that are really popular at the moment, Busby Maru. Uh, they just recently purchased one and played it on the Good Morning Australia show. We have a clip of that under our news section on our website. So if people want to hear how it sounds in a, a performance setting, it's a really good, good opportunity to hear it there. And uh, they have been very popular. Thanks, Melanie. Now, if, if people want to find out more about the instruments and uh, find your website, we'll put that on the link on the video here. That would be great. www.rockycreekstrings.com And the Rocky Creek, I know there's lots of Rocky Creeks here and overseas, but this particular one is at Wine Wine, and it's the Rocky Creek Strings Dam, Rocky Creek Dam, sorry, that uh, water, provides the water for our area. So, oh, OK, on. hence the name. Hence the name. Well, thank you both very much for giving us a little bit of a walk through of your, your wonderful uh, instruments.